Okay, y'all, so I thought that this would be a perfect time to do a quick, well, it might not be quick, but a tabernacle prep video. Oh, my toes. Um, so, first and foremost, I like to keep everything in a big bin. That way, every time Feast of Tabernacle comes up, I can just pull from what we already had, for the pre had from the previous year and see what we have. Because um, I completely forgot, so I'm going to take everything out of this bin. Put it up here so we can do inventory and see what we have, what we need to go out and buy. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get started with that and see what we have. Okay, so it's definitely a good idea to go through your items that you already have in the home. That way you're not overspending because you can easily overspend. Um, you guys know we all like to overpack. Um, and it's definitely a learning experience. So if you, if this is your first year, second year, you're still doing a lot, a lot of learning. You're still doing a lot of stocking up on things that you can use for the next year. Um, but you definitely want to just reevaluate what you have. Um, so that's what I'm doing first. So this is what you guys are seeing. And then I'm definitely, I could already tell, going to need to make a store run um, for some items. So I'm just going to go through what I have. And then I'm going to show you guys the checklist. And we're going to check off what we do have so that way we're not getting... Um, an abundance of things so first of all let's start over here it's super important to have bags handy these are good for um these are just like some cute little um tote laundry and reusable laundry grocery whatever bags whatever you like to call them they're just some little tote bags um i have two or three of them there's two right here i know i have another one somewhere um, but i love to bring these because you can throw miscellaneous miscellaneous items in there you can put laundry you can put Pretty much anything to keep stuff off the floor because it's already a cramped space so you definitely want to have some bags on hand um so i have these i have these puppy training yes we're having bringing our dog with us but it's not for that these are actually for the floor to catch dirt especially if it rains it's good to have them on the floor to wipe your feet or just to have them on the floor because even if you take off your shoe your shoes dirt still happens sorry guys if you're hearing my son's jumper in the background um he's having too much fun in there um but Back to these. Um, yeah, dirt can still get into your tent, so you don't want to wake up and um, step into something, or you don't want to step on like little rocks. So it's good to have these down because they're white too, so you can see what's actually on the floor. Um, but you also want to bring like socks and house shoes, uh, so that way you're not just on your bare feet. But I have those. I bought these, I believe, the first time. <laughs> we still have yet to use them, but I just have them. Um, they are what are these called? Um, let me see the technical term. These are the reflective safety bands. So you put these on um, and they reflect light, um, whether it's daytime, nighttime, so that you're able to be seen. We have yet to put these to use, but it's good to have, especially if you have a family. I got these at the Dollar Tree, so you can pick up a few and it comes with a pack of, it's a pack of two. Glow sticks are so much fun for the kids and the adults. Um, I'm gonna put that disclaimer out there because I'm usually the one having fun with these. Uh, me and my daughter, we will put these on at nighttime, especially during like the concert. It's just a fun little added touch. And if you have multiple kids, you can have fun with these. I love glow sticks, um, especially when you're somewhere outside at nighttime. Um, you can also put these in your cooler to light up your drinks um, and just make like your get togethers fun. Like, you know, people like to gather at their tents. You can put them around your tables. Um, you can do a lot with these, they're so much fun. So I always pick up some more um, glow sticks, which um, some spare rope. As you can see, we never open it, but it's always good to have some spare rope. You never know when you're going to need to hang something, when you need to, Add it to your tent because something broke. You never know. So you want to have some spare rope. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's just a dollar. Go grab one. Um, I actually bought this. This will be the first year we're going to try it. Um, it's a water pump. So you get the big um, water dispenser, which we don't use. But I feel like we can just go out and get one for tabernacles. And you put this in here. And it you push the button and it pours out your water. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, you guys will see that if we do decide to get that water um, container. So, yeah. That's it was I got it on sale. It was like five dollars. So yeah, hopefully we get to try that. A centronella candle. Now this one is old, so I'm not gonna keep spinning it around. Um, because it does have some of the old little gnats in there. But you guys keep your candles. There's no need to throw them out. It's wax and it just has the essential oil in there. And the bugs that are in there, they're not gonna come back to life. Like just light it again and more are gonna go in there. So by the next time, the next tabernacle, I'm sure this one's going to be out. So I'm going to get another one anyway, just just in case this one goes out while we're out there. But 
we're reusing that. It's it's no point in throwing it away. Um, this is our tent light slash fan. You definitely, definitely want to have some light sources, air sources. Uh, we have two more light sources right here. These get pretty bright. Oh, they don't have batteries in them. I was going to show you. Um, they have different settings. I got these at Walmart. And I think we have a third one. Stock up on lights because you never know where your campsite is going to be. Um, oh, gosh. My camera angle is so off. Um, you never know where your campsite is going to be. So get you some lights, especially for your tent. Um, so you can be in there comfortable and not like scramming around in the dark. Um, you definitely want to have your lights. And even if you can get lights for outside of your tent, that's going to be like even better. Um, and then make sure you have fans. Um, this is one of our fans we put over us because uh, we always sleep with the AC and fan on at the house. So we always need a fan. Um, so this one actually goes over us. We hang it on the little thing in the tent. You just pop this thing up and you hang it on the, um, the tent thing. So yeah, this is good. This is really good. We've been using this since um, the first tabernacle. Um, sometimes I even take it off and put it on my daughter's stroller and it cools her down, especially when it's hot, hot. Um, but we also have another fan, which I'll show you guys later, um, that also has a heater um, mechanism to it. So it like doubles up. Um, okay, so what else? Okay, so I did get some of these. I have not used these either. Um, they're just like little snack container containers. You can use them as seasoning containers. You can use them as... Um, Pretty much anything sauce containers um that's why i grabbed them because they're versatile we haven't had to use them yet but i feel like this year we might um but it's always good to just keep the stuff you haven't used because you never know which year you might actually use it so i do have these i have some spare plastic cutting mats these are really good because you can use them in the wilderness um and throw them out i got these at dollar tree it comes in a pack of two I always bring these out. I use them in the house as well, uh, but I do like to have separate ones for tabernacles because you're using them on like the benches and um, whatever, wherever you need them out there. And a lot of times you don't want to bring them back in the house. So you can just throw them out because they're cheap. They're just plastic and you can just cut up everything you need out there. I do, I like to designate one for veggies, fruits, whatever, and one for meats. If we are out there um, cooking like fish and chicken and stuff, I usually like to dedicate one for its separate purpose. I did get another one. This is more of a harder one. It's, um, uh, it's, it's another cutting board. Um, I bought it specifically for tabernacles. We haven't used this one yet either. Um, cause we do a lot of prep at home, so we don't, we're not really out there chopping stuff. Um, but I always like to bring it just in case, um, like we go fishing or something, we might catch something where we want to, you know, scale it and chop it up, I guess. But we haven't done that. So, but we have that just in case. Um, that's an O2 page. I'm probably throwing that out. Um, gloves. Gloves are super important. This is just one pack. We also have a lot more. Um, but we really stay stocked with gloves. Like, I do not like touching stuff out there, especially food, but it's hard to, um, well, it's not hard, but it's not as easy to get to a water source all the time to wash your hands and stuff like that. So I really like to cover my hands doing pretty much everything. So definitely get you some gloves. I'm glad we have some more left in this stash. Um, but I'm sure I'll be adding more to the every pack. So ice packs, y'all already know we need some ice packs. This is an ice and hot pack. So that doubles up. Um, I believe this is from Dollar Tree as well. Um, but definitely get you some ice packs. Okay, y'all. Ice packs for your cooler. Ice packs for, you know, if you hurt yourself, whatever. But mainly for your coolers. Um, okay, what else? We also have clips. Now, I bought these clips from Dollar Tree. It came with a pack of six. So, you definitely want to go stock up on some clips from Dollar Tree. Because you can use clips for literally anything. Your food. Um, whether you want to clip like trash bags to your table to inside your tent whatever i'll show you guys how i use them while we're out there but you definitely want to have some clips for many different things um and even like clips like these they come in handy where you can clip like multiple items on here um we like to put um more than one bag and our clip like things up on the tent like um our daughter's bags and this year our son's bags and stuff like that so these are really good too um what else we have of course, some outdoor camping forks. Y'all already know for like roasting our vegan marshmallows. Uh, um, but these can be for marshmallows, hot dogs, anything. Y'all, whatever y'all want to put in the fire, throw the mad boys on these forks. And that's what they're good for. These are, I got um, two at a dollar each. And these we've had every year as well. So just clean them off and they still look new. So I didn't use the other one, of course. 
What else? Okay, so if we have some shower caps, I like to get these shower caps for our shoes. That was such a good hack I found on Pinterest. Um, so just putting them on your shoes before you go inside the tent and then taking them off and leaving them in the shoes. Um, that way you can bring your shoes inside without them messing up the floor as much as possible. Because the floor still manages to get messed up. I do not know how. But these are really good for that, even for your hair. You can still use them for your hair. You never know when some rain is going to just come down. Um, our natural hair needs the water, so I don't really be caring for no shower cap hood or umbrella, whatever. Um, but it's really good to have some shower caps. Get you some shower caps, and you'll definitely put them to use, trust me. Um, rain ponchos, same concept behind it. You want to stay dry, so get you some rain ponchos. They're easy to just throw on if some rain randomly pours down. And you want to make sure they're with you at all times. Like, if you have something you're carrying around, put them in your bag so you're not running frantically back to your tent to try to find your rain poncho. If you have a rain poncho, just keep it on you, whether you have a diaper bag, pockets, whatever. Just put it in there so it's with you. But you definitely want to have one. Like I feel like I feel like we use this every year, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to definitely get some more because we only ended up with one left. Um, so I'm going to get some more for the whole family. But yeah, get you some rain ponchos. I also picked up some storage things from Dollar Tree. This is a jumbo blanket storage bag. This can be used for anything. It doesn't have to be for a blanket. Um, just to keep things off the floor. It can get cluttered really quick. So y'all want to make sure y'all have things like the storage bag, the laundry bag to keep your clothes. And I got all these from Dollar Tree. Like, keep your things on a budget. Um, cause it's just for outdoors. Like, you don't have to get too fancy. Um, but these are like all my plastic items. You definitely want to try to make sure you have. What else we have over here? Um, some mini mouthwash because if you're really like us and you're not going to the bathroom to do all that stuff, cause we're literally in the wilderness, um, you, you're going to want little things like this that you can just use quick. Um, go to the side, use the grass as your sink, um, gurgle after you brush and keep it pushing and throw this back in your bag or your pocket, whatever. So having some small um, oral care and body care items is a plus. Um, what is this? Some hand sanitizer. Of course, y'all know we need hand sanitizer, this tabernacle for sure. I always have hand sanitizer. I don't know why some people don't, but you should always have soap and hand sanitizer on your person on, at all times, especially when you're outdoors. Like, ooh. Um, so get you some hand sanitizer. Make sure you have enough for your whole family. Um, if you can get little personal ones where everybody can have one walking around, especially if you're separating, definitely do that. Like Dollar Tree has hand sanitizer. Um, Ooh, I forgot about my nails. Oh, and I'm all on this. Can oh gosh. Okay. Forget that y'all. It's going to be nice <laughs> after this video. I'll just try to hurry up and get this video out. Um, but yeah, back to the hand sanitizer. Get some hand sanitizer and yeah. You want to make sure you have that because Corona is still around, lurking, and um, you're just going to be touching a lot of stuff out there that's not clean. So have some hand sanitizer. Another little item is this seam sealer. Um, we always seam seal our tent, whether we did it before, we do it again, because these tents, they might claim to do one thing, but they don't always work like that. So we always seam our tent. And I might try to show you guys that this year because we will be putting up our tent prior to leaving. You want to make sure you're putting up your tent, you guys. So I'm going to talk about that later. Um, I have regular bug spray. I know a lot of people use the natural bug spray, but y'all, I do not like bugs. I want to make sure I have the max repellent. Um, I haven't really tried natural. Let me. <clears throat> I haven't really, I haven't really tried the natural bug spray, but and I believe it. I believe it works. Um, it just works. Some of them work specifically for certain stuff. I just need some of that works like all around. Like I don't want any bugs messing with me. So look at this. We have two body bug sprays. This is for the body. Okay. This is the camp fogger. So you put that around your camp before you put your tent down. After you put your tent tent down. Look, I put this you know, all everywhere. And then another one, um, just another repelling spray that you can spray on your tent um around the areas you're gonna be in if you're outside look i don't be playing okay i'm trying to get used to bugs but i'm in california y'all and these texas bugs are on some other level and okay see look i don't know i'm still getting used to um all these different type of jumbo bugs okay moving on before this video get too long this is the hammer we use to hammer our tent it has a little hook at the end um so you can hang it where you're done but i got this at walmart i think for like two dollars so you definitely want to keep these um because it helps hammer the nails and stakes in Make sure you're keeping your hammers and you are packing them, okay? What else? We have a lot of things. Of course, get you a travel size two paces. You don't want to bring a whole bunch of um, big items with you, especially because we're trying to save space as much as possible. We're supposed to be dwelling in booths. We need to get used to having everything um, very minimal. Um, so this is just one of the two pages we typically have. Uh, we have a lot of travel size stuff that I just pack um, for Tabernacle, and we throw it in like some little baggies. 
to keep everything separate. Um, so I'll put like all our oral care in one bag and blase blase. Okay, the last thing we have up here is our shower. So I got this motorized shower. I feel like I need to do a, a demo. <laughs> We got this motorized shower um, from Amazon. This is how we take our showers. I have yet to go into any of the campsite bathrooms. I'm just not a huge public bathroom type of gal. Um, and I need to get my practice on how we can be resourceful in the wilderness. Um, although I did not create this device, I hunted for this device and I put this device to use. So um, this is the motor. All you do is fill up a bucket of water and I usually fill up the bucket. I Put the stove on our little propane stove put a um, pot of water in there boil it pour that in my bucket of water and that's enough hot water to heat up my water throw this um motor up in there turn it on oh do i still got batteries oh yeah it's a little loud it's okay it's a little annoying but um put that on the water comes up and you got a shower yeah this i'm excited for this again like this is the most exciting item last year um and I absolutely loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. So this was on Amazon. Um, I'm sure you guys can find them. They had a lot of different varieties. Um, so yeah, if y'all want, if y'all interested, look for something like that. I might show you guys a demo while we're out there because I sure didn't do it last year. Last year, my vlog was all over the place. Hopefully this year, it'll be better, Lord willing. Um, and lastly, we have a mirror. Woo! <laughs> y'all wasn't supposed to see that, man. My hair ain't done. <laughs> But we have a mirror, you done, and it needs to be clean. You definitely want to have some type of uh, mirror, um, so you got mirror device so you can see yourself what you're doing. Um, if you're not going to the, use the bathrooms as often, you want to have some type of mirror. Um, so your head wrap not lopsided, sis. So your beard ain't sideways, bro. So you ain't got toothpaste dry on your mouth. Look, get you a mirror, okay? You need a mirror. All right. So that is all. That is all I have from my big gray bucket. Um. Oh. <clears throat> And definitely pack you some trash bags. Do not, don't leave the house without trash bags, because especially if you have kids. You got diapers. Look, you want to have some trash bags. Um, you gonna have trash for days, so you want to have trash bags just laying around that you can just pick up and throw stuff in. Um, I like to put those on the clips that I have, um, and just hang them around the tent, the table, the picnic table, wherever. Um, so we have a trash bag everywhere we turn. Um. And then, of course, we have the bigger trash bags, which wasn't in that bin, so I'll show you guys later. But so far, this is what I have. I just wanted to show you guys. Do make sure you're going inside your um, previous tabernacle items before you go out and shop. And then we can go shopping together because I, I need to go pick up some stuff. So I'll probably just take you guys along with me. And we're going to start marking off our checklist um, so we can get ready for tabernacle 2020 all right you guys if you like this video give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you can come back and see the rest of the tabernacle prep as well as the tabernacle vlog soon to come Alrighty, so as always i'll catch you next time bye bye